Welcome to another episode of SpaceX in the News. I'm Kevin, and today we're going to be going over Starship progression, as well as Elon's aspirational Starship tweets. Then we're going to briefly go over some upcoming missions. So the rocket builders in Boca Chica have increased in number as they work on Starship night and day. New aerodynamic hinge covers have been installed on the forward fins of the Mark I prototype, and they are either moving or completely removing the large tent on site. Local road closures for Highway 4 are scheduled for November 12th with alternate dates following. SpaceX will most likely be performing leak checks of some kind. Elon also put out a series of Starship tweets the other day, saying that Starship's Raptor engines are evolving rapidly and production is gearing up to a Raptor a day by next year. Most will be able to produce as much as 300 tons of thrust, but will be variants that won't throttle or gimbal. He said that if they can build 100 Starships that can each place 100 tons in orbit, that would allow for 10 million tons to orbit per year. At that capacity, it would take 20 years to transfer a million tons to Mars Base Alpha, which is hopefully enough to make it a sustainable place to live although a Mars city would require 1,000 starships. Elon also wrote that Starship is designed to fly three times per day or 1,000 times per year. While attending the Air Force's Space Pitch Day event, Elon said a single Starship will expend about $900,000 worth of fuel, and the total cost for a low Earth orbit mission will be around $2 million, which is insanely cheap even for a small CubeSat rocket thanks to Starship's 100% reusability factor, and that in order to build a self-sustaining city on Mars, the cost has to be that cheap. Crew Dragon's static test of its Super Draco thrusters has been pushed another day. Originally scheduled for November 6th, it's now targeting tomorrow the 9th. If successful, and so long as the remaining parachute tests show positive results, the next big test will be the in-flight abort next month. But Starlink 1 is the next SpaceX mission on the itinerary. The Falcon 9 rocket will place 60 Starlink Constellation sats into low Earth orbit. It will be the first mission to use a previously used fairing, and the first to attempt to catch both halves using two drone ships with huge nets. You can watch the whole thing go down, or up, up then down, live right here with me around 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. A lot of you have told me that you're all signed up to attend the Northern Illinois Science Education event with Scott Manley and myself next weekend. If anybody here is still interested in going to this free event, you can register by clicking the link in the description. There may or may not be seats available at this time. Thank you all so much for tuning in and a special thank you to my eccentric patrons whose generous support makes these episodes available to all. I'll see you guys on Monday for Starlink One. I'm very excited. Godspeed.